Hey everyone! If you're getting ready to move to the Orlando area and you're having a little bit of trouble finding a home that you really love that you can afford, well today I'm going to be showing three communities in DeBerry. And we're going to look at a golf front community, a waterfront community, and some new construction in an area that is much less expensive than Orlando, but is still within a 30 minute drive. So stay tuned. <music> Welcome back to my channel everyone. My name is Krista Tarns and I'm a realtor here in Central Florida and today I'm going to be bringing you three beautiful communities in DeBerry and one of those communities that I'm going to be showing you today has the most expensive home that's for sale right now in DeBerry. So if you stick around to the end I will show you that house. Now I have already made a video about DeBerry so if you are starting from zero knowledge about DeBerry I'm going to drop a link to that above so that you can check out that video also. Now, keep in mind if you have any questions as you are watching this video, my contact information is below. Please feel free to reach out to me. There's also a link to my calendar so you can set up a time to do a Zoom call with me. So let's jump right in and take a look at these three wonderful communities. The first neighborhood we're going to talk about is called DeBerry Plantation, and that's kind of the general historic name of this area, but the center of this is going to be the DeBerry Golf and Country Club. DeBerry Plantation is a planned community and there's a master association and there are also some subdivisions so you'll have other names in addition to that like Hampton Hills, Estates, The Estates, Westridge, Lake, Side Villas, and Fairway Hills. And one thing that's great about DeBerry Plantation is there are a variety of different properties there so you could conceivably like go from when you know if you have a family you need a larger home you're living in one house and then you can kind of retire into a villa. DeBerry Golf and Country Club is a semi-private uh, country club community and the golf course uh, is consistently chosen as a U.S. Open qualifying site. And since the golf course kind of cuts through the middle of the community, many of the homes are golf front. And I did have the opportunity to get a little bit of video at one of the homes, so let's check that out. It's very quiet and peaceful, so I'm going to be quiet and let you listen. And the prices right now in DeBerry Plantation range from the low 300s into the mid 700s. There have been houses that have sold for almost one and a half million. There are some lakefront, like very large homes, like, you know, estates, 8,000 square feet, things like that. And those are going to be the most expensive. So let's talk about the HOA a little bit. So the master association fee is gonna be, I think about $660 per year. And then because there are different neighborhoods throughout there, you may have additional fees above and beyond that. And some are gated, so those are generally more expensive. The villas have an additional fee that's over $100 per month, but it does include your lawn care also. And in addition to the HOA, of course, you do have the option of joining the DeBerry Country Club. And I have some pricing in front of me now, so I'll read a little bit of that to you. Full golf is $425 per month per individual. There's a practice, learn, and play membership. Uh, there's corporate, there's young executive, there's a social membership that's $100 a month that allows you to just access the pool and fitness, uh, fitness club. Um, there are a bunch of tennis courts, there's pickleball there too. So there's a racket and sport um, membership if you just want that. And then there's a dining membership because there is a dining club there as well. Next up, we're going to be checking out Riviera Bella. And in this first shot, what I want to show you is how the gate works. So this is a gated community and you pull up to that box and you scan your driver's license and then a guard comes on and asks you where you're going and then either gives you permission or doesn't and the, the gates come open. The first section that we're looking at is called Riviera Bella East and this is a new community being developed by DR Horton. So in this DR Horton section of Riviera Bella, the houses are kind of right around the 400 range. So as, as low as like 375, and then the most expensive that I noticed that it sold for the past six months was 460,000. 
And this section of Riviera Bella, it, it's very much a standard D.R. Horton community. And what's really cool about it is you get access to the amenities of the older part of Riviera Bella, which is across the street, across Fort Florida Boulevard. Uh, there's another section of this community which has a lot of great amenities. Now we have traveled across the street and we are in the original section of Riviera Bella, which is again its own gated community with the same sort of gate situation. And you'll see right away there's a different style of architecture. Um, these homes were built starting from 2004 by Mercedes Homes. And these are more of an executive finish. So you're going to have the um, barrel tile roofing materials. They are by and large a Mediterranean style of architecture. So you will see archways. You'll probably find a lot of um, deeper, rich colors on these houses. Um, there's a lot of very beautiful details and finishes uh, as you drive throughout that you will notice. Some of the homes on this side of Riviera Bella are very, very large. They can easily get up over a million dollars, close to two million dollars. Some of them are waterfront directly on the St. John's. Looking at sales in the past six months, it looks like most of the homes are going to be in the mid 400s, going up to 600, that's most of them, and then a few outliers that are a lot more expensive, which would be those waterfront ones. And the HOA fee here is $400 per quarter, and that is for either side, so Riviera Bella East or Riviera Bella. And so this is what the clubhouse and pool look like. And this is what the access to the St. John's River looks like. Now we're going to check out Rivington, which is a community that was started in 2019. So it's very new. There is a lot of inventory, over 30 homes currently for sale. And you can purchase a resale home at the moment or a brand new home. Some of them are already partially done and some of them you get to design yourself as you go. One thing I like a lot about Rivington is that there are totally different styles of homes in here and it's very much like a planned community, sort of like Baldwin Park. Um, so you have what we're looking at right now, these the villa style homes, so the garages are in the back. So it keeps a neater front uh, to the road without having you know the driveway. Uh, there are townhomes, those are the least expensive. There are townhomes for sale right now that are still being built. Uh, those are DreamFinders products, and those range in price at this exact moment from $382,000 up to about $400,000. And then in the center of the community, there is the playground, the pool, and the clubhouse. It's all been designed to be very walkable, so there are trails going around or pathways going around these uh, lakefront areas and they did make a nice use of the lake so the pool looks out over this body of water and it's just definitely centered on the outdoors. Another cool thing about this community is that you are really really close to su the sun rail so if you do work in Orlando or Winter Park or wherever the sun rail is stopping uh, it's very easy to get to the sun rail. The pricing for the single family home starts at about 400 and goes up to roughly the low 600s. And of course, since a lot of these are new construction that has not been built, those prices will change depending on what kind of finishes you opt for. So a good rule of thumb is to add about 30% onto the base price for your options. and Rivington is not a gated community. So now you've had a chance to tour three different really nice communities in DeBerry. What do you think? Riverfront, golfing, brand new construction, and Rivington, I will say on their website, they actually assert that DeBerry is 30% less expensive 
than the homes you will find in Seminole County or in Orlando. I think that's kind of hard to, it's kind of hard to say if that's accurate or not, but for sure you will get uh, more house for your money in DeBerry. And speaking of more house, did you take your guess as to which community has the most expensive home in DeBerry? Well, it was actually Riviera Bella. So let's jump on the MLS and take a look at the photos of that house. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.